Welcome, it's me. I'm Smugly. And um, so this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video game trailer dropped and there's an animated short in the beginning and then they'll show the game stuff and it's supposed to be like a spiritual sequel to Turtles in Time, the video game, which I used to play in arcades. I never owned the system. I think it was initially on. I just played it at arcades, but I always had fun with it. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a big Ninja Turtles fan. I wish I need to go through my basement and get go through some of my college shit because I have a Mikey toy. It's from the 2012 series because it was really popular when I was in college. But I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. It's Mikey. My favorite's Leo because my favorite color was always blue. But I love all the all the turtles. They're great. So um, I just wanted to react to it with you. I heard it's pretty awesome and it's very based off the 80s cartoon. I grew up. Oh, excuse me with the movies in the 90s and then there's the 2003 series which when I was around eight that was um premiering on I think partially on Jet X and then on four kids or maybe solely for four kids I forget and I watched the 2007 movie and I watched some of 2012 it was okay um I tried getting into the latest one that I think it was 2018 2019 series it was fun but it kept not running consistently on TV or online, so it was really complicated to like catch up with, but it was fun. And the Bay movies were the Bay movies, obviously. They're interesting and special. But they're working on trying to do this like the movies again, not with the same people who did the VFX and I don't think with Michael Bay again, but they're trying to do like a live action Ninja Turtles movie again because they only had two. I'm guessing they meant for it to be a trilogy. The second one didn't do that well, so obviously that wasn't happening. So um, let's watch this new stuff. Oh, look how shiny this style is. This is on Dom Dotemu. Dotemu? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Sorry. Um, it's under a million views, but I'm very excited about this. Again, I look at them. Look how happy they look. I love it. I, I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? Are you guys into Turtles fans? Uh, if you are, I hope you're excited for this because I'm definitely playing it. I think it's coming to PC, so I'm definitely going to play this on the on the stream when I eventually get back into stream because I just have it and I'm sorry. I'm a Nimrod. Okay, new theme song. Hell yeah. He was in a half shell turtle power. Hey, Bebop and Rocksteady. Oh, this is so cool. Hell yeah. <gasps> April kicking butt. Hell yeah. Oh, that yellow jumpsuit. Yes. Splinter. Oh, he looks so cuddly. Ooh. Those are uh, Mousers by Baxter Stockman. Oh, the blimp by Lane. Oh, there's Baxter, but mutated. Cool car. <gasps> Are those Triceratons? They're alien Triceratopses. <gasps> Technodrome. Cool. <gasps> and here's the pixel style. Oh, look at them. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at it. Oh, I love the sound, hearing the sound effects. It's so 80s, it's so 90s. I love how colorful it is. <gasps> Yeah, they still throw them at the screen. That's exciting. <gasps> yeah, I loved that. Stop, that was amazing. I love this animated opening. Listen, so it's still owned by Nickelodeon, as you can see at the bottom here. It says Nickelodeon. They wrapped up the 2018, 2019 series and they did 2012. So are they gonna do another series that's based off of the 80s cartoon? which was really goofy, but the first couple episodes were kind of serious and cool and had like an arc. Then they got goofy until like they were wrapping up. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at New York. It looks beautiful. I love, they're like combining almost like 2D and 3D because this looks like hand painted watercolors. Well, they're obviously painted 3D. And it's very comic booky. Yeah, like I think even like that's the line of his head, but it's popping out a little bit out of the top with green. So 
That's very cool. Oh, look at them. This is so cool. Were they always this buff? They were very buff in the 2003 series. And Raph was really buff in the 2018, 2019 series. Oh, Leo, you look so silly. But Raph looks really buff. What? Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that smile. He's like, hey, I'm about to fuck you up. And he's like, mm. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. I love this. Oh, look at April. Wow, you're everywhere. Channel 6. What's the channel? Oh, sorry. I need more tea. I'm falling asleep. Not because of this trailer. It's been a long day. I did not sleep well last night. Oh, look in New York. Like, again, this also has a little bit of the um, 2018 series. Like, the style of it, and it's very vibrant. I like it a lot. It feels so authentic. Look at them. This is a very white pizza. Ew, mushrooms. No, thank you. Bebop and Rocksteady. They look really good. I love it. You guys have terrible aim. Oh, look at old guy Shredder. Well, not old guy, but like the older styled. In the 2003 and the 2012 series, he was very intimidating. I can't remember. I think he's supposed to show up in the 2018 series, but I never got to that part, so I might have to go and watch it. This is so funny. I love the the vibrancy of the purple, though. These are fantastic colors. I really like it. He's looking at him. He's like, me. Oh, Mikey is a party dude. Oh, April. I love, like, the motion of her hair when she did that. It's very, like, fluffy and just like, wow. It just, it looks great. Splinter. Oh, he looks fierce. I know the mouse is very well from the 2003 series. I think they also show up in the 80s. Oh, he looks so cool. Whoa. I just realized this is like a Kaiju Power Rangers level shredder suit. Did he have this in the 80s cartoon? I don't remember. This thing is humongo. <laughs> I know that's part of the blimp. Oh, I love this like etchy, like comic book anime manga style. There's Baxter Stockman fly. I love this. This posing is so cool. The way he throws it down, the landing, very cool. I don't remember the style for the Triceratons in the in the eighties. They just, they definitely looked a little more Triceratopy anime in the two thousand three series. I don't know, 2012 series. These guys look a lot more cartoony. These look like Power Ranger villains, which is kind of cool because there is a crossover between the Ninja Turtles and the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So if you guys didn't know that, it was a fun crossover. I'm also a huge Power Rangers fan. And when that showed up, it was like my little kid brain just like exploded. <laughs> and they're surfing. Cowabunga. The Technodrome. Where the hell are they? They look like this. Like, is this long? This is Long Island Sound. Oh, where the fuck is this? Is this upstate? We don't have volcanoes. Oh, New Yorker, we don't have volcanoes. Shredder's Revenge. Oh, look at these. I love the style. This is so amazing. Look at this. I love the way Mikey runs. Oh my God, what a fucking cutie. Look at the way he runs. <laughs> he's so funny. He's very like, grrr, and he's very like ninja. And uh, he looks like he's like doing the flash run. Oh, I think that's supposed to be like a mouser chomping. That's cool. Oh, look at the layout. Oh, the old foot soldiers. Nice bikes. Oh, and there's, oh, there's part of Krang's head. Oh, I love it. What are you holding? What is this? Oh, it's broken boards. I thought he was holding it the way I paused it. Oh, and they have these boxes. I love his gun. This looks very cool. This is so cool. Oh, look at that. Ah, I'm a sucker for this. I've Look at him diving with his head. He's like, yeah, got a headbutt, you fool. I love it. This is so fantastic. I wonder if this is like co-op for people or if you switch between who you're controlling. I don't have a lot of friends, especially a lot of friends in the same time zone. So um, this would be difficult to set up for four people. That'd be fun, though.
Maybe if I played co-op with my boyfriend. He wasn't that much into Ninja Turtles, but it's fine. I'll rope him in somehow. Sorry, sweetie. Uh, but I think it'd be a lot of fun to play this with him. Oh my god. Ooh, I remember the gold ninjas. And there's Rocksteady. Whoa, I forgot about these. They're like they're part of the motorcycles, but they become jetpacks. Oh, and the pink ones. The silver. Yeah, I love that they get thrown at the screen. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, I want it now. Is there a release date? Release date. No? But when are you coming out? When can I buy you? Is it coming soon? I don't like waiting. I'm not a patient woman. When is it coming out? Oh, I can put it on my wish list on Steam. Fuck yes, please. Ah! When are you coming out? Oh, it's coming soon. Damn it. Oh, but I want. Wish list. Wish list. Bitchin'. Oh, I'm so excited. I really do hope that this um, influences them to create another animated series. Because I think, though, I think 2003 is still probably my favorite because, I don't know. That was like the one I really got into and I was like, Ninja Turtles are so cool and dark and edgy. And I found, I found it so much fun. Um, so I think I would like another one. And I feel like the ones that Nickelodeon has been in charge of have been okay. 2012 was had a little more edge. There was a lot of like overarching plot lines going on. Uh, and the 2018-19 one I think had more of a fun vibe and I think was hearkening back to the 80s cartoon. But with a new style and I liked that April was race bended and I liked that all the turtles were different species of turtles. I thought that was a lot of fun. So I hope that this does influence them to create another cartoon with this style because it needs to be the style but also make sure it has like the hard edges and the fun stuff but you can have your one-off fun stuff because i know this is still a kid series but like don't forget this will play into a huge nostalgia fest like the reason why i found out about this trailer is because black nerd comedy uh andre was talking about it and i love his shit i started watching him because he was reviewing episodes of the 2012 teenage mutant ninja turtle series and then i was watching him because he was watching the Nickelodeon Power Rangers stuff as well because I believe Nickelodeon still has a partnership with Mattel and they also own the Power Rangers or not Mattel I think it's Hasbro and they helped make the what was it the 2016 Power Rangers movie uh with Naomi Scott who became Jasmine in the Disney's Aladdin live action and it had not Elizabeth Olsen what's her name Elizabeth something. I'm blanking on her name. Elizabeth Bell? No. Fuck it. I don't remember. Who cares? But um, what did you guys think? Let me know down below and we can talk about it. Uh, were you a Ninja Turtles fan? And if you weren't a Ninja Turtles fan, does this make you want to be a Ninja Turtles fan? Did you guys play the original game when you were younger? Have you played any of the other Ninja Turtles based video games since then? And if you have, tell me about them because I only ever played Turtles in Time. Um, I know there were some newer ones that were like based off of like the more recent series and like had like more of a comic style. I just remember Donnie looking really dumb. I forget who played it. Was it Game Grumps? Or maybe someone else. Someone played it, definitely. But it was a one-off, so I didn't like watch it um, religiously. Uh, but let me know. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll have more content soon. Okay?